Hi guys! So I said, I know I said I wasn't probably going to do many um, videos about anxiety anymore, uh, but I also said that if I was feeling anxious I would um, talk about it. And, and in the last few days um, there have been some things that I have found really difficult due to having anxiety, um, in particular making decisions. So I just wondered whether you guys find it difficult to make decisions and more like I find I take days to make decisions for example where are we going to go from here we're at the moment we're in the beautiful Cusco I'm just going to show you our view from our window I was going to do the video outside but the sun was just a bit too powerful <laughs> I couldn't see what I was doing so it's another video from one of my um rooms but yeah we've um through due to night buses and 2 a.m colca canyon trips uh, and a lot of caffeine i haven't really slept in the last few days and that really has just made the anxiety so much worse and it's like this feeling in the pit of my stomach where every time i think about something like making a decision of where we should need to go like how are we going to get to the next place that we're trying to get to do we take a plane? Do we take a bus? When shall we go? We've just booked our Machu Picchu trip, which is so exciting. But after we booked it yesterday, I just went into a complete panic about have we chosen the right company? Have we paid too much? Have you know, or if is because it was a bit cheaper than some of the others, does that mean we're not going to get a good a service? And then I go onto the internet and I like read all the reviews. On the, like the company, and I just get myself into a, a, a state. Uh, and I did this in Australia when I booked um, <laughs> a bus ticket, and I suddenly was like, I don't want to go on the bus. I want to go on the train because it's half the price and it's quicker. And then I tried to cancel my ticket with the Greyhound bus, and they're like, no. <laughs> and I just spent all day trying to sort that out, um, and it's really stressful. <laughs> but I always, if I'm somebody who wants to know that I've made the best choice that there possibly is out there. If I had the time and the energy, I would have gone to every single travel agency in Cusco, of which, by the way, there are about 500, and I would have asked each and every one for their option to do the jungle trek up to Machu Picchu, and then made a decision from that. <laughs> and you just can't <laughs> do that. So you have to just make a decision and go with it, and I find that really difficult. But I had a good night's sleep last night. I've woken up this morning and I feel a lot better. One of the things actually that helps me with my anxiety sometimes is um, magnesium. So, like magnesium tablets. Sometimes uh, severe anxiety can be a symptom of a magnesium deficiency. Uh, and I find that actually when I am feeling particularly anxious, taking the uh, a good magnesium supplement really does help to sort of... Um, lessen it especially when it's like it has been for me over the last few days where it's that just not in your stomach of every time you think about stuff that makes you anxious just the oh it's really hard to explain but you just almost feel like there's something vibrating in the, in the pit of your stomach and it's not very nice so I'm still nervous about this trip I still really hope it's not you know it's going to be as good as it should be but I will let you know <laughs> and hopefully maybe I'll be able to well I'll hope, definitely take some pictures but uh, if I get a chance to do a video and show you where it is that would be great obviously so I um, hope you're all well and I shall hopefully speak to you soon oh and I should probably say as well um, <laughs> my even though I have this anxiety it hasn't stopped me from doing this amazing trip tomorrow um, and it is worth almost ignoring that fear and just going ahead because if you don't ignore your anxiety if you don't understand that it doesn't mean the truth it's not a gut feeling sometimes anxiety lies and tells you to fear things that you should not be scared of so you just sometimes have to ignore it and go for it anyway and if I didn't ignore my anxiety sometimes I wouldn't even be in Peru right now I just have been hiding at home somewhere <laughs> in my bed so learning to sometimes just ignore your anxiety and not 
talk yourself out of doing things is it's really hard but it's really it's, it's doable because I'm I'm here <laughs> so anyway love you and speak to you soon